Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for this video. Before we get started, remember, if you're interested in being updated on our lives, hit the subscribe button. In this video, we are segueing off of our last one, our little vlog that we did for our trip home. If you didn't watch it, you can find it on my channel. And if you don't care, that's fine too. We're just gonna answer the questions that we've been asked time and time and time and time again since we got married, a short eight, eight weeks, I think. And these questions just keep popping up. Hopping right into it, question number one comes in a lot of different varieties, but it's all the same question. How is married life? Are you loving married life? How is it going? How's being married? Do you enjoy it? What's it like being married? Do you still love each other? <laughs> well, in-depth answer, it's great. It's good. We're loving. Yeah. I, I find it interesting that every person that asks us that happens to also be married. Yeah. As if they had forgotten what it was like. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe people need to have a little trip down memory lane. So, married life is going well. It's going great. Uh... For me, I think it's really met every expectation I had. Exceeded all of mine. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks. Next up, also a very common question, as are all of these questions, <laughs> is the question that we get for Elizabeth. Is she working or whatever is she doing with her life now? <laughs> In other words. People don't ask that part. I mean, they just ask if I'm working. That's the Skyler and interpretation. <laughs> I do have a job, um, just a summer job. I am currently employed as a an in-home jungle gym, otherwise known as I'm babysitting. Mm. A toddler and a baby for the summer, having a great time doing that. And uh, yeah, so after that's over, I'll be back in the market for a full-time job. But for right now, I am working full-time and it's going well. And can I say... She's killing it. Thanks. Yeah. Another super repetitive question that we get asked a lot is actually for Skylar, and that is, how is your new job going? Well. First, tell them where you're working, I, because a lot of people don't know. I am working at uh, the UVA Children's Hospital. Yes, we see young children. Tends as a children's hospital, just <laughs> so we're clear. I am working there as a medical scribe full-time and uh, that means I uh, since this is in Charlottesville I have to travel about an hour one way so it's uh, time-consuming but very rewarding because kids are rewarding. This question I'm very excited about this one was dropped on our last video and mm -hmm. it was an actual like great quality question uh, if that's a thing uh, I felt like it was very it's very specific and caring. So, here's the question. How have I adjusted to living in Lynchburg? Which is a phenomenal question because I, I genuinely left everything, my family, my job, my apartment, my friends, my everything that I'd always grown up with and relocated three and a half hours away um, to live with this guy. And I'm so glad that I did. But obviously that could come with some real struggles just because of everything that I was leaving, um, which we had talked about in a lot of depth and we had kind of planned for and um, just been open with each other mm -hmm. about that. And I have been incredibly surprised with how well the adjustment has gone. I have been too. It, it wasn't like flawless, like, oh, I don't miss anything. Um, when, like, the first weekend we were back and we went to church, uh, I actually, like, cried at church and everything just because I was missing mainly, really, my nieces and my nephews. Um, Forget all you other people. <laughs> no, I mean, just being honest, because they're so little and there's more chance of them forgetting me if I'm not around enough. Yeah. So this little girl actually walked through church on Sunday morning and I legitimately, tears started welling up in my eyes until somebody came and started talking to us, thankfully, and distracted me from it and got me out of it. And then the next day, um, my first Monday here, Skylar had work all day in Charlottesville. I had absolutely nothing to do, knew nobody, and was completely alone all day. 
and then every day thereafter until I started working. I pretty much cried a significant portion of the day. I processed what was going on, went through my feelings, all the things that you do, um, trying to work through stuff. And then the next day I felt a lot better. By that Wednesday, I was feeling pretty good. And since then, I really haven't had a problem. I've adjusted really well. I love it here, actually. It feels very homey. I love our church. And um, so the adjustment to Lynchburg has gone really, really well. But it's a really good question because there was a lot of room there for it not to go so well. Uh, but it has because, you know, when you follow God, things go well. And uh, clearly, this was from God. Let me no. just look at this. You don't have to. You can keep doing that. There you go. Thank you for the question. I appreciate that. I genuinely do. That was a good question. It's a good one. I hope my, I'll probably actually do like a more in-depth, um, how I handled everything kind of video on my own sometime. But for now, that's a good enough answer. Okay. That's a question that is let in approved. You gonna have kids? Come on, come on, when are you gonna have kids? Yes, we genuinely get asked this question. I don't know why. We're eight weeks into this. Yeah. So, children. Well, anybody who knows me, us, knows that we love kids. I love kids, plan on having a family, all of those wonderful things. And you can also rest assured that we will make the decision on when that should happen. We really <laughs> we really don't even talk about this with our parents, honestly. We don't answer questions about this with our parents on either side. So, yeah. this question, people do ask it. We're, we, yes, we'll decide when. That's pretty much that. So, sorry if that's not what you want. Now, I bet what all of you have been wondering is what in the world do we do with our lives now? other than working and sleeping. More specifically, what do you do in your free time? Yes. This is actually one of my favorite questions. I think we've only been asked it once. Yes. But we threw it in here because we actually really like the question. We I do think. like the question. So, what do we do in our free time, babe? Well, we have a variety of activities that we quite enjoy. We do. Yes. Number one, I think we can agree would be Talk about that. Oh, oh, I was starting to talk Mario Kart. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. There you go. That's what I was thinking. Sure, that's what you were thinking. <laughs> For all those people who have no idea what that is, how could you not know what that is? Mario Kart. It's a great game. Racing game on the Xbox, Switch, whatever it is. Uh, so we do that. Yep. Other things that we do would be reading. Yes. We or... like reading. We're trying to increase how much we do that. Yes. We used to a lot. Uh, we love going on walks. There's an awesome mm -hmm. trail right outside our um, apartment building. So that's awesome. Uh, we watch Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World, yes. yes. Oh my gosh. We're almost done. We're almost, this four is episodes? Almost over. We have four or three. This is, no guys, you don't understand. This is really sad. We started watching Boy Meets World. I made him start watching it. I've watched it like four times all the way through. She I, I, own, I own every season. Just saying. Anyway, we started a little bit after we started dating, going through this series, and now, we only have four episodes left. Who knows? By the time the video's up, we might be done. Who knows? It's a world of open possibilities. It's yet, so, so sad. So this is, this is a real bummer for us. That's the only thing that we ever watch, actually. Um, yeah, so far. I mean, yeah, we don't, we don't spend a lot of time watching TV. So I'm happy with that. Yeah. So, yeah, those are some of the things that we do. We, oh, we love to play Yahtzee. Yes, we, we play, play Yahtzee, Yahtzee all the time. Um, I imagine eventually we'll expand our horizons. Oh, we've made ice cream together. Oh, yes. That's one of our favorites. Yes, things. highly recommend that to any love, uh, engaged or love, newlywed couples. Love Get it. yourself an ice cream maker. I Make yourself some ice cream. It's yeah. very easy. And uh, And then you can have ice cream every night. Yes, it makes it, depending on the size you get, it makes a good amount. And um, I like eating her food. She makes good food. He cleans the dishes for me after dinner. Yeah, gotta make myself useful, you know. I really appreciate that. I can't just be the bed warmer. <laughs> Although you are a good bed warmer. 
Well, really, you're the best. Bit yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm she's a like a little on her now. More than you are. Yeah. Any other pastimes? Favorite, um, favorite things? Last, but not least, we have this question. Where are we living? Well, as quite a few of you may know, we are currently in Lynchburg, as this previous questions probably gave away <laughs> at some point. So we're living in an apartment building, and it's pretty old, so there's a lot of like, it used to be like this old machinery place or whatever, and so there's old machines in it and it's built around it and you know like this wall whatever yeah unique there's like beams and stuff so it's pretty cool uh but it's very small we're on the expensive side yeah. and it's, just it's small for it, the price that is yeah yeah it's it, like it's it's, decent, it's a one but... bedroom um there's not like a door on the bedroom but anyway it's been very good for us um but but we are very excited Yes, we are. Super excited. I cannot even tell you how excited I am. She's very excited. I'm very excited. Because we are moving. Moving? Yep. We're moving. We are actually moving uh, to a place that's only about 10 minutes away, but mm -hmm. it's closer to work, so that's more convenient. 10 minutes closer makes a big difference when and you have such a long drive. That's 20 minutes and five days a week, so that's 100 minutes. So, hey. Hey, that's, we'll take that's, it. That's a lot of time right there. We will right take there. any time we can get. That's less, to add to our free time category. That's less driving. You know, that's a little bit it's less. But, <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're moving. It's cheaper for actually more space. Um, and, yeah, we're super excited. I want to talk about it. Okay. So, this place is a two-bedroom. It has a balcony, like an outdoor balcony. It's rather old, but who the heck cares? Because this place is just, I'm so excited. It has, I feel like, just the right amount of space for us. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, like in the bathroom, we can both st we can stand next to each other and still see ourselves in the mirror. I'm so That's excited about that. That yeah, is a can't big can't do that here. Can't do it. So we're gonna move. We're gonna have a bedroom for our family to come and visit, and not have to stay in our room, which is awesome. Um, and it just has. I'm so excited. I'm really really excited. Plus, it's our first move together, because he was already living here when I moved mm -hmm. in. So that makes it a little bit weird. It's not really like ours. I don't feel like uh, so much as it's his and I'm living here. So super excited, obviously, about our move and really looking forward to that. <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching. I do too. Don't forget to hit the like button because that's the best compliment you could possibly give us right now. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. Don't forget because that's how you're going to be notified when we post videos. It's not regular yet, so you want that so that you can be reminded, right? I mean, look at us. Look at look her. Look at this. You weren't reminded about this, right? Of course you do. Thank you so much for watching our video. We are so thankful that you took the time to spend a little time with the Lennon couple. So stay tuned for any future videos and video content about us and our lives. And uh, we will catch you later. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.